time for this, Herman. You take this. Hey, you finished that article on Craig Lumpin? Almost. There's a guy in my hometown named Craig Lumpin. We used to call him Dumpin' Lumpin. <laughs> Where in Ohio are you from? I'm from Millbury. Uh -huh. Well, your Dumpin' Lumpin' from Millbury, Ohio is worth $20 million. What? Dumpin' Lumpin'? How did he become a millionaire? He was this fat kid in marching band who always got pantsed. <laughs> Says here he owes it all to motivational guru Dick Van Adams. Dumpin' Lumpin' is a success story and we're a lowly drone? Why are you so down on us? Look at us! We're nothing! <laughs> well, if you're so bothered by our self-image, why don't we do something about it? Like what? <laughs> hey, Dumpin'! Why don't you do what I did? Take a Dick Van Adams motivational seminar. Hey, it worked for me. <laughs> This city is exciting. Dangerous. Troubled. That woman's not wearing underwear. Is that all you can think about? Food and sex? Yes. Please, focus. Look out! Hey, it's Jack. No time for small talk, we're late. Hetty, hold the elevator. I think Louise is so sweet. I think this woman is wearing underwear. I think there's too many people in this elevator. And I think you are all idiots. That's gonna work. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like this is a big mistake. No, no. Come on, it's about to start. Let's get some good seats before all the good ones are taken. What? In a room full of people with low self-esteem, you can probably have any seat you want. Just tell them they don't deserve to sit there. <laughs> oh, thanks for the tip. <laughs> hey, Fatso, give me that seat. <laughs> or should I say, those seats? <laughs> I'm sorry, don't cry. <laughs> This is a room full of complete losers. I'm home. <laughs> this is ridiculous. A seminar is not going to solve our problem. He's right. I know it'll solve our problem. Backbreaking work, intense concentration, and a willingness to put in long hours. You're talking about sex again, aren't you? Was that obvious, huh? And it made me hungry. Let's go get a donut. Right. Oh. Is, uh, that the last sugar donut? Uh, I think so. That's too bad. I really wanted one. Well, you can have this one. Well, thank you. Now, which one do you want? Uh, I think I'll have the chocolate. I want that one, too. It's all right with you, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Why is that all right with you? Just trying to be nice. <laughs> you know, I used to be a lot like you, Herm. Nice, friendly guy with nothing. Then I learned to identify what I want and take it. Then why are you at the seminar, Dick? <laughs> I am the seminar. I'm Dick Van Adams. And I can turn your life around. Now, what do you want? I want success and fulfillment in my professional life. I'll show you how to get it. And you? I want to find love and happiness. I'll show you how to get it. Oh. And you? I want courage. Where I come from, they have what we call heroes. I don't think there's anything in that bag for me. I say we worship this man as a god. Herm, I promise. You give me three hours, I'll show you how to identify what you want and take it. Now, do you want that sugar donut? Yes, I do. Well, so do I. Oh, that's okay. I'll have the jelly donut. 
But it may take three hours, several audio cassettes, and my best-selling book. <laughs> All right, people, let's get started. This is the first step toward becoming your own person. The Dick Van Adams way. <laughs> Anybody seen our friend, Mr. Brooks? No, sir. Louise, did you end up going to that so-called self-improvement seminar? I did, but it was a bust, so I left early. I could have told you that. Those things are nothing more than medicine shows. Actually, the medicine show was across the hall, and it was great. This pharmaceutical company was giving out samples of this new drug. The good news is I never felt better. <laughs> <laughs> is my hair is coming out in clumps. Do those experimental drugs impair your ability to do research? No, they enhance it. Oh. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Give Hetty some. Hey, Weezy. J-Roll. Hey. <laughs> Louise, you wouldn't believe what is going on upstairs. They're replacing the associate editor of Outdoor Sportsman magazine. That guy was like my biggest fan up there. Please check these files for me. I may be busy for a while. My future ex-husband just walked in. Excuse me, is there something that I could do for you? Oh my God, Herman, it's you. How dare you pretend not to be a loser? Herma, uh, normally I would give you endless crap about this new look of yours, but uh, I got a lot of stuff on my mind. I'll be with you in a minute. Louise, would you call these people back and tell them I won't be able to talk to them until next week? Oh, and if uh, Harris calls, put him right through. Herman, I'm not your secretary. Of course not. You're a valuable member of the Herman Brooks team. <laughs> wow, I've never been picked for a team before where they didn't all go, oh, and you got Fitzer. <laughs> Herman, hang on a sec. I'll be right with you. Hi, Mrs. Brooks. It's Louise. Listen, I'm calling for your son, Herman. So, Jay, what do you want? Well, there's been a lot of shakeups upstairs. I'm worried about this article I've been writing. Yeah, what you need to do is take control of the situation. Don't wait for other people's decisions to influence you. Y-T-A. You take action. A-Y-N. Are you nuts? What is going on with you? Dick Van Adams is what's going on. Here's one of Dick's tapes. Take this home. Listen to it. Live it. <laughs> Ooh, nice suit. Hey, sharp tie. It's really a beaut. And I know why. The Van Adams way, the Van Adams way. The Dick Van Adams way. Herman, telephone for you. It's Mr. Harris. Herman Brooks. Yes, Mr. Harris. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. You are looking at the new associate editor of Outdoor Sportsman magazine. You're? You're the new associate editor. I saw the opportunity. I stepped up to the plate. I hit it out of the park. Uh, what? I'm going to be reporting to you? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's going to be great. We'll be able to work together. You're part of the Herman Brooks team. Yeah. I was picked first. Yeah, not now, not now, not now. How did you get the job? I mean, you're a... Who did... You skipped a few steps here, pal. That's what the Dick Van Adams system is all about. Listen to the tapes, Jay. Hey, Brecken, Brooks here. Listen, something's come up I need to discuss with you. Brooks, get the hell out of my office! Uh, I'm free now. You want to tell me what's going on? You're three hours late, you're calling me on the phone, and you look like Pat Riley. I'll be brief. I've received another job offer, and I've decided to take it. Oh, I see. Well, what's the job? Associate editor of Outdoor Sportsman magazine. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Oh, let's face it. The writing track is a slow track. I am on the express to success. Herman, mottos and slogans don't get you anywhere. Anything worthwhile is worth waiting for. <laughs> Patience is just an excuse for procrastination. A bird in the hand, Herman. <laughs> playing it safe is playing it stupid. I'm rubber, you're glue. Anything you say to me bounces off and sticks me. Ran out, huh? Yep. Sorry, gotta run. Now, wait a minute, Herman. We're buried in work here. You can't just leave without giving me two weeks' notice. Maybe we should rethink this. Nope. No time for thinking. Thinking is for people who can't take action. Do we think or do we do? <laughs> we do! And who are we gonna do? We're not gonna do anybody. 
Well, in that case, I think. What do you think? I think we should do someone! I'm sorry, Mr. Bracken, but this new job may not be there in two weeks. Luis, if somebody could come box up my desk and send it up to the 38th floor. Wow, you're moving up to the 38th floor? Who do you have to sleep with to get a job up there? From now on, me. <laughs> Nice digs, bud. Nice. Somebody's moving up in the world, huh? Ooh. But your 976 numbers aren't blocked. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Well, let's find out, shall we? Jay, we have a lot of work to do. I'd really What do you want, hot time. young nurses or a trip to Saigon? Huh? <laughs> Jay, hang up. All right. I read your article. Oh, yeah? A lot of good work here. Oh, good. You liked it? Uh, Excellent. Let's blow off the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> Jay, I said a lot of good work. It doesn't mean we can't make it better. Oh. Uh, oh, come on in, Sandy. You don't mind if I eat while we do this? No, no, it looks good. Uh, Jay, don't eat my potato. <laughs> Jay. Great. Great, you just screwed up my calorie count. Those are the exact calories my nutritionist worked out for me. All right. Now, about your article. Mm. I, I, I really think that fly fishing is a good jumping off point, but is it what the outdoor sportsman wants to read about? Yeah, Herm. Fly fishing is a very in thing right now. Oh, is it? Is it? Or is it a downer? <laughs> Herman, it's a painstaking, exacting enterprise for the sake of pure sport. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't pop. It doesn't pop? No, no, it's not sexy. It's not like zipping around in a powerboat hunting sailfish with an exploding harpoon, no. There you go. Now you're on the team. Now you're playing ball. People want power. They want to set their sights on a target and get there as fast as they can. They want motorboats, technology, a big bloody game fish they can pose with at the end of the day. <laughs> well, maybe, Herm, but that's not what this is about. Maybe it should be. Oh, I see. This is what you were talking about, huh? This is how we're going to work together? You're going to completely change my articles. Hey, Jay, come on. We're friends and all, but I have a job to do here. Yeah, but you're not doing your job very well. Oh. Oh, yes, I see what this is about. Dick warned me about this in audio cassette number seven. <laughs> Dick specifically mentioned me by name, did he? No. No, he just called you the resentful friend. Ex-friend. You want to fix that? Do it yourself. How'd that pop for you? Good pop? <laughs> See your Chevy Geo Network dealer for your new Chevy Lumina today. Please, I need that poetry article right away. Hetty, how's that nature series coming? Claire, have this photocopied right away. Where's the new guy? Ah, Mr. Bracken, it's the new guy. Where are you? Okay, this is how you get back. Go down the hall, take your first left, go straight past the elevator. You can't miss it. The next time you send a new guy out for coffee, draw him a map. Hey, guys. Herman, you got a lot of nerve coming down here. Thanks to you, we have twice as much work to do. The trick is you have to delegate. Okay, here. That means you have to delegate down, not up. I tried to come visit you, but your executive assistant said you were having a massage and couldn't be bothered. You would not believe the stress up there. All we have to relax us down here is the soothing sound of Mr. Bracken's voice. Damn it, Hattie, get back to work. <sighs> like fingernails on a chalkboard. <laughs> you know, Herman, I was going to come up and visit you, but you dumped on my boyfriend and he kind of hates you and so do I. Louise, I am an editor. I know I changed Jay's story, but I was just doing my job. Hello, Herman. Hello, Paul. Bracken. Mr. Bracken. What can I do for you? Do you uh, have a chance to check those articles I sent down there? There's a real rush on them. Herman, you know how things work down here. Articles are prioritized according to publishing day. Yeah, but I thought you might be able to uh, move them to the top of the pile. <laughs> Life is full of little disappointments. I, for instance, was hoping that you could have given me two weeks' notice. Oh, my God, our friends hate us. What are we going to do? Forget about them. They're holding you back. 
Yeah, who needs friends? We got dick. <laughs> hey, Jay. Don't. Hey, Jamie, and thanks, by the way, for scrapping my fishing article. I just heard it's not being published. I have no idea what you're talking about, but let's go up to my office and talk to Harris. Fine. Research. Hey, Mr. Bracken, it's the new guy. Where are you now? Well, how did you get there? Well, never mind. Here's what you do. You take the A train. <laughs> Mr. Harris. Brooks, where you been? I was talking to Nichols. He told me you pulled the fishing article? Had to. I assigned you an article on the simple pleasures of fishing. And you come back with some overblown extravaganza with sailfish and exploding harpoons? <laughs> sailfish and exploding harpoons? That's all our stuff. Oh, we've got to come clean. We can't let Jay take the blame for something we did. Let Jay worry about Jay. You worry about you. He's right. We're in the clear. So someone got in a little trouble. What were you thinking when you wrote this? Uh -huh. Well, I, I think Jay was trying to give the article more drive. You know, a fisherman who identifies what he wants and takes it. Uh-huh. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. And I'm starting to think hiring you was a big mistake. Mr. Harris, don't blame Herman. I take full responsibility for this article. You do? Yeah, but looking at it now, I see that the approach was obviously utterly misguided. It's just so completely moronic. It, the whole thing is an exercise in terrible terrible judge. No, 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 no. I think there was some merit no, to it. No, no, no. The whole thing is a colossal failure on every level. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I would. Further even. But I like the way you stick up for your friends, Brooks. <laughs> Fill that spot with the article on cross-country skiing. All right, so why did you cover for me? I thought it would be nice for you to see how a friend behaves, since obviously you forgot. Uh, excuse me, I must have gotten turned around. How do I get back to the research department? Oh, it's, it's 12 floors down, take it right off the elevator, you can't miss it. Dear God, I hope you're right. <laughs> yeah, haven't you heard the worst part. Now Harris thinks I'm a terrible writer, he's not going to sign me any more articles. I don't get it, how come he didn't just say it was all Herman's fault? Oh, I didn't want to stoop to his level, but man, did he deserve it. Ugh, Herman's really changed. You're telling me. God, who'd have thought he'd turn into such a sneaky little son of a bitch? <laughs> you know what we call him down the research room? Hmm. Herm the Worm. <laughs> you know what the writers call him? Yeah. Vermin Herman. <laughs> you guys are so much better at that than us. Nah. <laughs> Our friends hate and despise us. Don't you remember what I said? You don't need friends. You've got a career. You know, I am sick of your bad advice and your hollow promises. It's all your fault we're in this mess, so get out. Yeah, get out. <laughs> all right. Fine. And take your stupid medal with you. Yeah, take your stupid medal with you. And take her, too. Yeah, take her, too. <laughs> Let's go, people. We're falling behind. I'm sorry, Hedy. I'm going to have to add this to your pile. Louise, oh, don't tell me that Louise is lost now. I'm not lost. I'm right here. Oh, thank God. But where's the new guy? Did he ever show up? Oh, as a matter of fact, he's holding for you. He's on line two. New guy? <laughs> this is Bright. Where are you now? Okay, here's what you do. You take the expressway to exit 51. You turn left at the third stop sign. You go two blocks until you come to a green stucco house with a gum gum tree in front. Yes, yes, I know. That's where your parents live. You'll be safer there. Louise, call personnel. Tell them the old new guy didn't work out. We're going to need a new new guy. Take me away from this. Take me upstairs. Please, I am so sorry for calling you a loser. Hetty, I'm no longer associate editor. I quit. Loser. <laughs> Hi, Louise. Louise? Herman, can't you tell by my expression I do not wish to speak to you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> um, 
It's until Jay I quit and I told Mr. Harris that it was all my fault. Mr. Bracken, do you have a minute? Barely, Herman. I'm swamped. Well, sir, I quit my job upstairs and I'd like to know if I could have my old job back. Well, I don't know, Herman. I've hired a capable replacement. I mean, a new guy is a whirlwind. He's all over the place. <laughs> Uh, maybe we could hire you on as an intern at a stipend. I'll think about that, sir. Mr. Bracken, it's the new guy. He can't find the express route. Mr. Bracken, Laurie there. Herman, I... Uh, Herman, uh, there's a small possibility that the new guy just might not work out. Come on, Mr. Bracken. All right, here's my final offer. Your old job at Joel's salary? I'll take it. Done. Jay? Herman? Louise just told me you uh, quit your associate editor's job. That's right, Jay, and I just want you to know, before I left, I told Harris that everything he didn't like in your story was my idea, and you'll get the chance to write another article for him. It's too bad you couldn't have set things straight in time to have my article published. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, Jay. Yeah, me too. Come on, Jay, it's not like I've never forgiven you for anything. But I forgave you the time you had sex with that married woman on my fire escape and her husband thought it was me. <laughs> and I forgave you the time I asked you to find Mr. Bracken a date and you fixed him up with a hooker. <laughs> Charge it to your credit card, too. <laughs> Remember the time you pushed me out of an airplane? <laughs> Twice. <laughs> what happened? How about the time I slept with your sister? <laughs> I didn't think that was funny. Okay, okay, well, what about the time I handcuffed you to this door and ran off with a princess to Stad? Are we nuts? We're nuts! <laughs> Why, how about the time you screwed up my article and I hired that Burmese guy to break into your apartment and shave your head? When'd you do that? This morning. I wouldn't go home for a couple of days if I were you. Jay, you're kidding, right? Jay? Hey, Jay! Hey! <laughs> Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Yeah, isn't it great? We've got our friend Jay back. Yes, things were a little rocky there, but now everything's hunky-dory. Oh, I'll get that. Well, I wonder who that could be. Are you expecting anyone? Uh, <laughs> excuse me. How do I get back to the research department? <laughs> I've got it. You head all the way down. Just keep right on going. Okay. <laughs> 